Welcome to part 4 of our Microsoft Word tutorial series. In this section, we will dive into the art of document formatting and design. You'll learn how to make your documents stand out by customizing headers, footers, and page numbers to suit your specific needs. We'll also explore a range of text-related features that will help you add creative and functional elements to your documents, such as text boxes, quick parts, word art, drop cap, signature line, date and time, and objects. Let's get started with enhancing your Word document's appearance and functionality. In this part of the tutorial, we will explore how to customize headers, footers, and page numbers to suit your specific document needs. Step 1. Accessing Headers, Footers, and Page Numbers Open your Microsoft Word document. Navigate to the Insert tab located in the ribbon at the top of the window. Look for the Header and Footer group. Step 2. Customizing Headers Click on Header within the Header and Footer group. You can choose from built-in header styles or create a custom header by typing your desired text and formatting it as needed. To exit the header area, double-click outside of the header section or use the Close Header and Footer option. Step 3. Customizing Footers Click on Footer within the Header and Footer group. Similar to headers, you can choose from built-in footer styles or create a custom footer by adding text and formatting it. To exit the footer area, double-click outside of the footer section or use the Close Header and Footer option. Step 4. Adding Page Numbers To add page numbers, click on Page Number in the Header and Footer group. Select where you want the page numbers to appear on your page, such as top, bottom, left, or right. Choose the format you prefer for your page numbers. Step 5. Customizing Page Numbers After inserting page numbers, you can further customize them by selecting the page number area. Right-click on the page number to access options like formatting, starting page numbers at a specific value, or excluding page numbers on the first page. Step 6. Modifying header and footer for different sections. If your document has multiple sections, you can customize headers, footers, and page numbers differently for each section. Click the Different First Page or Different Odd and Even Pages options to make changes. Repeat steps 2 to 5 for each section as needed. Step 7. Saving Your Document Don't forget to save your document to preserve all the changes you've made. That's it. You've successfully customized headers, footers, and page numbers in Microsoft Word to make your document look professional and suit your specific requirements. Feel free to explore different formatting options and get creative with your document's design. Text box, quick parts, word art, drop cap, signature line, date and time, and objects in Microsoft Word. In this section, we'll delve into several text-related features and tools that can enhance your document's appearance and functionality. Step 1. Adding a text box. Click on the Insert tab in the ribbon. Select Text Box from the Text Group. Click anywhere in your document to insert a text box, and then type or paste your text into it. You can resize and format the text box as needed. Step 2. Using Quick Parts Quick Parts allow you to insert reusable pieces of content like boilerplate text, headers, or footers. Go to the Insert tab and click on Quick Parts in the text group. You can choose from available Quick Parts or create your own. Step 3. Creating Word Art to add stylized text or word art to your document, click on the Insert tab. In the text group, select Word Art and choose a style. 
Enter your text, and it will appear with the chosen formatting. Step 4, using drop cap. Drop cap is a decorative element often used at the beginning of a paragraph. Select the paragraph where you want to apply the drop cap. Go to the Insert tab and click on Drop Cap in the text group. Choose a style for the drop cap. Step 5, adding a signature line. If you need a signature line for document approvals, go to the Insert tab. In the text group, select Signature Line and fill in the necessary information in the dialog box that appears. This will insert a signature line into your document. Step 6, inserting date and time. To add the current date or time to your document, go to the Insert tab. In the text group, choose date and time. Select your preferred format, and it will be inserted at the cursor location. Step 7, inserting objects. Objects can include charts, pictures, shapes, and more. Click on the Insert tab, and in the text group, choose the type of object you want to insert, example, picture, chart, shape. Follow the prompts to select or create the object you want to insert. Step 8, Formatting and Customizing. You can further format and customize text, word art, and objects by using the formatting tools available in the ribbon. Adjust fonts, colors, sizes, and more to match your document's style. You can also arrange objects, align them with text, and control their position on the page. That's it. You've now learned how to utilize text boxes, quick parts, word art, drop cap, signature line, date and time, and insert objects to create more dynamic and visually appealing documents in Microsoft Word. Experiment with these features to make your documents stand out and convey information effectively. In the Symbols group of Microsoft Word, you'll find the Equation and Symbol options, which allow you to insert mathematical equations and special symbols into your documents. Let's explore how to use these features. 1. Equation the Equation option in Microsoft Word allows you to create and insert mathematical equations using a graphical interface. Here's how to use it. Place your cursor at the location in your document where you want to insert the equation. Go to the Insert tab in the ribbon at the top of the window. In the Symbols group, click on Equation. A placeholder for your equation will appear in your document and the Design tab for Equations will open in the ribbon. Click inside the Equation placeholder to start entering your mathematical expression. You can use the various tools and symbols available in the Design tab to create and format your equation. This includes mathematical operators, fractions, square roots, and more. Once you've created your equation, you can close the Equation Editor by clicking outside the Equation Placeholder. 2. Symbol The Symbol option in Microsoft Word allows you to insert special characters, symbols, and characters not commonly found on your keyboard. Here's how to use it. Place your cursor at the location in your document where you want to insert a symbol. Go to the Insert tab in the ribbon. In the Symbols group, click on Symbol. A drop-down menu will appear. From the drop-down menu, you can choose Symbol to access a library of special characters, or you can select more symbols for a more extensive selection. In the Symbol dialog box, you can browse through various symbol options, select the symbol you want, and click the Insert button. The selected symbol will be inserted at the cursor location in your document. You can also use the Symbol dialog box to change the font and subset to access additional symbols. These tools are useful for inserting mathematical equations and special symbols into your documents, particularly when you need to create technical documents, 
mathematical expressions, or documents with special characters. They make it easy to add these elements without needing to memorize complex keyboard shortcuts or search for symbols online. The Design tab in Microsoft Word is a versatile feature that provides you with a wide array of tools to enhance the visual appeal of your documents. With options for document formatting and page background customization, it allows you to create professional-looking documents for various purposes, from reports and brochures to newsletters and presentations. Document Formatting Themes, the Design tab offers a selection of built-in themes that include coordinated fonts, colors, and effects. Applying a theme to your document can give it a consistent and polished look with just a click. Document Formatting Elements you can modify various document elements such as headings, titles, subtitles, and more. These elements can be quickly formatted to match the chosen theme, ensuring a cohesive and stylish appearance. Colors Customize the color scheme of your document by selecting from the theme's color options or creating your own. This is particularly useful for branding or matching a document's color palette to a specific theme. Fonts Adjust the font styles for different elements in your document, such as headings and body text. The Design tab provides easy access to font options, making it simple to maintain consistent typography. Page Background Page Color Change the background color of your document's pages. This feature can be handy for creating documents with a distinct look or for highlighting specific content. Page borders apply borders to your document's pages to create visual separation or frames. Customize the border style, color, and width to suit your preferences. Watermark Insert watermarks into your document for various purposes, including branding, security, or visual enhancement. The Design tab provides options to add text or image watermarks to your pages. Page Layouts Access various page layout options that can be particularly useful for designing brochures, flyers, or other multi-column documents. You can choose from a range of column and margin settings. In summary, the Design tab in Microsoft Word offers a comprehensive set of tools for document formatting and page background customization. Whether you need to create professional reports, design eye-catching marketing materials, or simply give your documents a polished look, the Design tab is your go-to resource for achieving visually appealing and well-structured content. In the following sections, we will explore these document formatting and page background customization options in greater detail. Congratulations on completing Part 4 of our Microsoft Word tutorial series. You've gained valuable skills in customizing headers, footers, page numbers, and adding creative text elements to your documents. Your documents are now well on their way to being not only informative, but also visually engaging. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're excited about putting these newfound skills to use. In Part 5, we'll delve even deeper into the world of Word, exploring advanced formatting techniques, collaboration features, and more. So stay tuned for our next installment where we'll take your word proficiency to the next level. Until then, happy document crafting!